We take our very best talent, our very best technology, and we do good. Um, whether we're helping cities be smarter or we're helping our IBM employees get the skills that they need by giving them opportunities for growth personally and professionally, or we're just really trying to, um, as I said, make cities smarter and make the planet smarter too. Uh, every single one of our IBM employees represent the brand, IBM brand, out in, um, out in, in the world of work and also when they're doing volunteer work. So for us, it's really important to make sure that we give our employees an opportunity, even if it's within their professional lives, right? Giving them an opportunity to broaden their horizons, whether they're uh, part of an international assignment that's helping nonprofit organizations in developing countries. Um, to, you know, they're basically solving societal issues within these um, nonprofit organizations. And what we're doing is uh, developing their skills by giving them these opportunities. And we're uh, retaining our employees. They want to work at IBM. As part of our Corporate Service Corps, we did a survey of employees. And um, nine out of 10 said that they want to finish their career at IBM. And uh, one of the executives, um, one of the marketing executives said that her engagement in um, Indonesia really um, made her want to stay at IBM even while she was recruited by a competitor. She said, you know, even at more money, you know, you can't buy this kind of an experience. So for us, it's retention. And then it's looking, it's giving us a chance to look at new markets for IBM. I mean, we are a business. And we're really lucky, I would say, that we're, we've aligned our corporate philanthropy with the business and we have the support of our CEO. So there's nobody who touts the work that we do better than Ginny Rometty. And that's a big plus because we have the support from the very top of IBM. The biggest opportunities are when people think differently. Um, it's not, you know, $10,000 is not gonna change the world. But when you're dedicating know-how, when you're dedicating expertise to solve a specific issue, whether it's you know, helping a city um, with traffic patterns, um, like we did in Boston as part of our Smarter Cities Challenge, or whether we're helping Jacksonville you know, revitalize their downtown area, or Syracuse, New York, helping them create this land bank so that they can you know, have the resources, have the data that they need to build this tax base and not have all of these empty lots. So what we wanted to do, you know, if we're able to make that difference, right? We're able to make that difference. That, that's gratifying, but it's also making a real impact. So it's not giving cash. Um, so, it, you know, spare change, we call it, you know, from spare change to real change. So we may not be f emphasizing um, just check giving. Um, we're really emphasizing how can we use our best resources internally to make a difference.